Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and we're going to fly our airplane to one side, fly to the other side, back to the middle, and take your airplane wings and make them into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now take that circle up over your head and stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up at the top, and we'll bring our circle back down. If you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, let's quickly turn on our listening ears we're going to put on our thinking hats. My thinking hat is right up on top of my head and today my thinking hat has a big ribbon that I'm going to tie into a bow. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready for circle time. Let me grab my pointing stick and I'm going to bring it to the top of the chart where we have the month. Do you know what the month is? April! You're right friends, the month is April and today is April 27th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was April 26th and today is April 27th, 2021. But you can also say that the year is 2021. Will you say the date one more time with me? Are you ready? Today is April 27th, 2021 or 2021. Friends, can I see your counting fingers like this? And let's warm them up a little bit. We don't have that much counting to do today because we are going to count the days that are left in the month of April. After today, we have one, two, three. Only three more days left in the month of April. Now, it's time to move on to the days of the week song. Can you show me seven fingers? Let's start with one hand, but one hand only has five fingers. We need two more fingers like this to make seven. Because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to travel down, down, down to the bottom of the chart. This says, that yesterday was, here's your clue, M. Monday! That's right, friends. Yesterday was Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. And tomorrow will be W. Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. But let's go back to today. Will you sing today is Tuesday with me? It goes like this. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Friends, I'm going to travel back up, up to the top of the chart. Right up here, we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Springtime! That's right, friends. And over the past couple of days, we've been learning all about plants that grow in the springtime. 
Now, springtime is also a time when it can be a little bit rainy. So all of those plants use their roots underground to soak up all of the rain and drink and grow. Now, let's go back down to the bottom of the chart right here. That means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Yesterday, I taught you a new weather song and we sang it like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather today? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it sunny out today? Friends, when I look at my, temp at my picture down here, it's a picture of a cloudy day and a sunny day. When I look outside, it's mostly cloudy, just like it was yesterday. I see a lot of clouds in the sky today, but today they're not cumulus clouds. They're a little bit darker. They're more like cirrus clouds. I see the sunshine trying to poke out just a little bit. But my temperature chart moved over to orange. It's a warm day where I live. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look out your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Yesterday, we learned a brand new letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Can you make that sound with me? And do you remember what letter this is called? K, that's right. This is a lowercase k. K says k, k. And let me grab the letter box so that you can take a guess. It's something that starts with the letter k, k. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a baby animal. This baby animal has four legs, it has a long tail, and whiskers. The last clue is that this baby animal is a baby cat. Do you know what a baby cat is called? Let's take a look. A kitten. A kitten is a baby cat. A few weeks ago, we also learned that baby chipmunks and baby rabbits are called kittens, and baby cats are called kittens as well. A kitten has one, two, three, four legs, and a long tail. Do you know what sound a baby kitten makes? Mew. That's what a baby kitten says. Kitten starts with the letter K. K. This is how you write a lowercase k, k. One more time. And now let's take a look at the number of the week. Yesterday, we also learned a new double digit number. Do you remember what number this is? 21. This is the number 21. When you write the number 21, first you write the number two, and then you write the number one. 21. Let me grab my piece of chalk so that we can count 21 tally marks together. Friends, if you would like to, you can grab something to write with and you can write the tally marks with me. But if not, you can just count them. One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20 goes across, and one more makes 21. 21 tally marks. I wonder what we have inside of the box to count today. I have 21 pine cones. That is quite a lot of pine cones to count. And they definitely will not fit if I line them up across the top of the box. So instead, I'm just going to make a big pile of them on the top of the box and we can count them together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and one more makes twenty-one. 21 pine cones. Okay friends, it's time to go over the sign of the week. Yesterday I told you how to say tree in sign language. Can you show me how to say tree in sign language? That's right friends, let's do that together. Tree. I am so excited to check out our transpiration experiment from yesterday. It was really hard for me to wait. Was it hard for you to wait as well? Sometimes when I'm really excited for something to happen, it's hard to wait and be patient. But I find that in order to make the time pass quickly, I just keep myself busy with something else. But the waiting is over. We have definitely waited long enough. Are you ready to see the experiment? Let's see what happened to our celery stalks. Wow, look at this, friends. These celery stalks definitely look very different than they did yesterday. They are all different colors. So let's quickly review what happened yesterday. Yesterday, we had one, two, three glasses of water. This glass of water had blue food coloring in it, this glass of water had red food coloring in it, and the last glass of water had green food coloring in it. We took three different leafy celery stalks and we put one celery stalk inside of each glass. And then we had to wait and wait. The waiting is over. Look what happened to the celery stalks. Do they look like they did yesterday? Yesterday, the celery stalks were light green and they had greenish yellowish leaves on top. Is that how they look today? I don't think so. What happened to the celery stalks? This one turned blue, just like the water. This one turned red, just like the water. And look at the last one. This one turned dark green, just like the water. Overnight, transpiration happened. The colored water traveled up the celery stalks and into the leaves, and that's how they changed color. Wow, friends, this is really, really cool, and it was definitely worth the wait. So most plants, like the celery stalk, have leaves on them. Today we're going to take a closer look at leaves that grow on trees. A tree that loses its leaves in the autumn and fall is called a deciduous tree. But in the springtime, the tree will grow little buds on them, and inside of the buds are leaves. So later in the springtime, the tree buds will open up and the tree will have green leaves again. But in the autumn, the leaves will change color. They will change from green to brown, red, orange, and yellow. And then the cycle will start all over again. Let's move on to today's work. 
For today's work, you will need some crayons, a variety of leaves, and some paper. So as you can see, these leaves that I collected outside look different from each other. Some of them are brown and others are green. Can you tell which leaves are from last season? That's right, these dried brown ones. And do you think you know which leaves came from this year? You're right, these green leaves started growing this spring. Let's see what happens when I take a leaf and I put it underneath a piece of paper and I use a crayon and gently rub over it. I'm going to start with this oak leaf. This leaf came from a red oak tree and I'm going to cover it with a piece of paper. Let's choose a blue crayon. I'm just going to lightly color over the leaf like this. And you can notice that the outline of the leaf starts to show. Keep coloring at the top, off to the side, all around. So as you can see, friends, here is the leaf stem right here. And as I continue to color outward, I can notice the whole outline of the leaf, like this. Let's try it with one of the new spring leaves. I have this branch right here and it has a few baby leaves that recently popped out of the buds. So I'm going to place this underneath the piece of paper this time I'm going to try a darker blue and I'm just going to lightly color over that tree branch. Oh, I can already notice the stem. Color all around. And let's take a look. So right here, I can see the branch, and if I look very closely, I can see the little leaves that are coming off from the side. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.